Bruiser Brody is a hardcore legend who was as uncontrollable inside the ring as he was out. He teams with Dirty Dick Slater to battle Bruiser Bob Switan and a young hacksaw Jim Duggan. If Brody and Slater win, then whatever man that is awarded the victory gets an immediate match with the opposing manager, Buck Robley. But was oftentimes the case with the match that involved Brody, the ending to this one ends up in a vicious controversy. And we're at the Hemisphere Arena in San Antonio, Texas. Southwest Championship Wrestling at its best, and we've got a tag team match for you that might end all tag team matches. Dick Slater and Bruiser Brody have teamed up to take on Hacksaw Duggan and Bruiser Bob Sweetan, a couple of the Colonel Buck Robley's men. There is a special stipulation in this match. If Brody and Slater can win, one of them will get five minutes with Colonel Buck Robley. And well, we're getting four men all started. Here comes Sweet Dan out of the ring, onto the floor. Ruger Bob Sweet Dan out of the ring, onto the floor. Sweet Dan just off here on the right, coming outside the ring, landing on the timekeeper's table as things start getting wild. Back into the ring he goes. Sweet Town has the legs cut out from underneath him by Dick Slater. Slater dives to the air. And only a one count on Sweet Town, the man who likes to pile, apply the pile driver and Hacksaw Duggan is into the ring and Slater goes after him quickly. Hacksaw Duggan, a big man who played professional football for the Atlanta Falcons. Slammed into the mat by Dick Slater, the Southwest Heavyweight Champion. Oh, a knee across the chest. Sweet Ten back in now as Duggan tags out. Slater takes him down with a leg scissor and tags out, and in comes Big Bruiser Brody, 291 pounds. He holds Sweet Ten as Slater lays one in there. Now Brody puts one in there. Look at Brody pick up 285-pound bruiser above Sweet Dan and throws him down to the mat. Oh, what tag team action we've got for you here today. Remember, the special stipulation in this match, if Broder, Brody and Slater can win, one of them will get five minutes with a Colonel Buck Robley. The fans are going wild here at the Hemisphere Arena in San Antonio. Robley comes up on the apron to try to help out. Robley standing over here in a corner on the floor, but he came up on the apron that time trying to help Sweet Dan out. Sweet Dan did make it over and tag in. Tagging in was Hacksaw Duggan. Well, two big giants in there now, Hacksaw Duggan and Bruiser Brody. It's Duggan laying some forearms across the chest of Bruiser Brody. Here's a reversal. Brody throws Duggan into the turnbuckle. Oh, listen to this crowd go crazy. They like this Bruiser Brody and Dick Slater. They want him to win, you can tell that, because they'd like to see him get hold of the Colonel for five minutes. Atomic drop by Dick Slater on Axaw Duggan. Sweet Dan comes in, and Slater's gonna do it to him. Slater's got him up with the Atomic drop, and here comes Sweet Dan back out of the ring, onto the floor, an arm drag inside the ring by Dick Slater. Exciting action here on Southwest Championship Wrestling as Slater had Duggan down, but only got a two count on him that time. A shoulder tackles, they collide, a double knockdown here as both men are down. Here comes Sweet Town into the ring and rakes the fingers across the face of Dick Slater. Slater out here on the concrete floor. Bruiser Brody is out helping out. Robley is thrown into the crowd. Brody threw him there. And Brody is trying to take care of Sweet Town, but right here at our table, it is Hacksaw Duggan choking Dick Slater. Now the Colonel is over there laying some in. Well, everybody getting into the action. Right here at the timekeeper's and announcer's table. Two on one at Sweet Town and Duggan. Really punishing Dick Slater. Finally, the referee gets one out of him out of the ring. Duggan wanting a little faster count that time. Duggan dives to the air, puts a knee across the chest 
of Dick Slater, and Slater throws him off after only a two count. Slater being picked up by Hacksaw Duggan. He's thrown down to the mat. Oh, and Slater wasn't there as Duggan came flying through the air. Sweet Ten coming in to help out. Sweet Ten into the ring to help out. And now Slater goes after Sweet Ten. Duggan is in there kicking Slater. Here comes Bruiser Brody over to take care of Duggan. Well, who's the legal man in the ring? Well, your guess is as good as ours. I think it's Dick Slater and Hacksaw Duggan. That's right, that's who it's supposed to be. Here's the tag, Sweet Town now comes in. It's Sweet Town against Slater. Sweet Town kicks Slater as Duggan held him. Oh, Sweet Town was going for the pile driver. He didn't get it as Slater blocked it and threw Sweet Town into the corner. Dick Slater throwing some punches. Sweet Town comes up with one. They're above us here again at the Hemisphere Arena. Duggan is tagged back into the ring now. Colonel Buck Robley has his black box here at ringside. Remember, we've heard the Colonel talk about that black box. I don't know what's in it, but it's sitting right here to the left of us. Sweet Dan is into the ring. There's a punch close to the heart area. One to the side of the jaw. Another one. Slater trying to pick Sweet Dan up, and he does with a beautiful side suplex. Both men down. The referee is counting. Brody is yelling for Sweet S Slater to come on over if he can to tag out. Sweet Dan reaches over. He makes a tag. Hacksaw Duggan is in the ring, and here comes Brody. Oh, look at big bruiser Brody go to work on Hacksaw Duggan. Sweet Town trying to help out. Here comes Slater in. Slater takes care of Sweet Town. Once again, all four men getting into the action. Duggan has Brody. They're the two legal men into the ring. Sweet Town and Slater are battling it out over there. Oh, and the referee, Eric Manheimer, is knocked down as he had collided. Over. Chair comes out from underneath. Robley's got a chair. He's going into the ring with it. He's going after Brody. Brody ducks out of the way. And Robley gets his own man. Robley got Hacksaw Duggan. It's Brody covering up Duggan. It's one, two, three, and it's all over. It's all over. Robley now has to take five minutes with Bruiser Brody. Oh, boy. How things can turn. Robley went after Brody. Brody ducked. Duggan got hit with a chair. Brody pinned Duggan, and now he gets five minutes with the Colonel Buck Robley. And Robley is into the ring. Robley slamming the head of Bozer Brody into the turnbuckles. Buck Robley, who can wrestle with the best of them. And, oh, he's coming for the black box. He is coming for the black box. He didn't get it. Remember, we told you about that black box. We've seen it here on Southwest Championship Wrestling, and what's in it, I don't know, as Brody is down on the mat. The Colonel leaping down there, holding onto that top rope. Now a little choking. Remember, five minutes Brody gets with Robley. We'll check for the timekeeper. They've been in there one minute. One minute. And here comes Robley back after the black box. He's got the black box. He's trying to get inside, but it's knocked away from him by Bruiser Brody. The black box is up on the apron, into the ring. I don't know what's in that black box, but the Colonel is sure trying to get it. He had it twice, but Brody got him away from him. Oh, did Brody knock him down. Brody really laid one in there. He got the Colonel. Brody coming up. Brody and the Colonel. Oh, and there's a big boot to the top of the head. Big bruiser Brody going after the Colonel Buck. Robley kicks him again, and Robley is trying to shake it out. Two minutes have gone by. Remember, Brody gets five minutes with the Colonel, and he has opened up the wound on the forehead of the Colonel Buck Robley. He slams Robley's head into that top turnbuckle. Robley down on the mat as Brody continues to come after him. Robley up in the air as Brody slams him down. Here goes Brody. 
flying to the air, and down he goes across the chest. That may be all for the Colonel. That may be all for the Colonel. Oh, here comes Brody. He's going out to the black box. Brody tears over the black box. He's got a jar. There's a jar in there. I don't know what's in it. I don't know what's in the jar, but Brody has it. Into the ring comes Hacksaw, Duggan, and Bruiser Bob Sweetan. And the jar is knocked down. Oh, and these guys are interfering. That's going to stop to the match. But the Robley is going after the jar. I don't know what it is, but it really stinks. Oh, he rubs it across the face. Up and in the beard and around the eyes of Big Bruiser Brody. Here comes Dick Slater in to help clean out the ring as things are getting out of hand. Oh, Brody is going wild. Brody is going to the crowd across the way. Slater is after him, trying to help him out. Bruiser Brody is going crazy. I don't know what the Colonel had, but Brody is going crazy. He is staggering through the crowd. And whatever that was, you can smell it here at ringside. It stinks. Brody is going crazy through the crowd. Dick Slater trying to help him out. Oh, I can't believe Bruiser Brody.